Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, That Creepy Reading, and tonight we'll be joined by a lovely little guest known as NDL Mongoose. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hello there. My name is NDL Mongoose, and I'm here to assist TCR with his first ever Fan Fiction Friday. This series will deal with grim dark fan fictions. We will be dealing with general chilling works of fiction, usually from a dedicated fan base rather than that be video games, TV, or movies. Today we hope to present one such tale which goes by the name A Birthday at Freddy's. Let's begin. <laughs> You know, parents are always trying to find new ways to entertain or enrich their kids' lives. In fact, the earliest cheers are the most important in a child's life, at least when it comes to developing their young minds. This was no different for me. My mom would always take me to the arcades, complete with all sorts of top-of-the-line games, or she would take me to parks with the jungle gyms, you know, the ones that were always scolding hot from being in the sun all day. There were too many options to choose from, but for what they were, those are what made up my fondest childhood memories. As a treat for my seventh birthday, my mom took me to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It was supposed to be a fun little place, from what I can remember. A, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike where fantasy and fun could come to life. Or something like that. <laughs> I can't really remember through all the buzzwords that I was streamed as a kid. It looked really promising, to be honest. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited about going there. The pizza was what you expect, lazily put together and didn't quite taste right. But you didn't go there for the food. You went to see Freddy Fazbear and his gang of colorful friends. Bonnie the Bunny, Chica the Chick, and then there was Foxy too. He lives in a place called Pirate's Cove. Thinking back on it now, the, the animatronics were pretty good at the time. They had full body movement when singing on stage, and even Foxy moves around uh, quite a bit on his little private ship. Fact. I remember that after a few songs, Freddy and his friends would come off stage and walk around, even interacting with the kids. They would walk up to the kids and say things like, How's the pizza? Good, I bet. Or, Are you having fun? I know I am. I remember that Foxy always said, Yar, it's me. I'm gonna get ya. It was cute. To keep the kids entertained, like myself, there'd be little games they'd play, like Follow the Freddy, which was just Follow the Leader, or something along those lines. And then they had another one called Foxy's Treasure Hunt, where kids would be given small trinkets, and Foxy would chase after them like a game of tag. Ugh. I remember I'd finished my slice of pizza, and I asked if I could play a treasure hunt game with Foxy. My mom said it was okay, as it was, well, my special day. So I got up, and one of the workers gave me a tiny palm-sized treasure chest. It was made out of cheap plastic, and to be honest, it felt like it would shatter in a million pieces if I gripped it too hard. But nonetheless, it served its purpose. I was actually really excited now that I think back. Foxy was personally my favorite. Me and about six other kids were given the same small treasures, and that's when Foxy jumped off Pirate Cove. He yelled, It's me! I'm gonna get ya! And that's when we all scrambled. It was great fun. I looked over my shoulder, and I saw Foxy chasing around the other kids, and then at one point, he almost got me. <laughs> oh boy, Foxy was fast. I didn't quite know why at the time. But while I was in the middle of playing the treasure hunt game, my mom lifted me up abruptly and carried me swiftly towards the exit. She said things like, We've gotta go right now! 
and we never should have come here. I never heard such urgency in her voice before. I thought that maybe it was because some kids started crying when Foxy caught them. They'd screamed really loud and started sobbing. I remember that a bunch of parents rushed over. There was all sorts of commotion and noise. But I was too busy having fun to notice that anything was wrong. But now that I think of it, I do remember that as my mom carried me through the exit, I saw Foxy standing above the body of the kid he had caught. He was staring right at me, with crimson liquid dripping from his sharp teeth. Yar, it's me. I'm gonna get you. 